Hey, hello guys, hello Steve from Memphis, USA. We have here the KDM Racing Successor 10. KDM is not a new brand. It's like many Chinese brands, a brand who is already there since years, but unknown under its true name. Most of them was rebranded or trademark sale as oh, how should I say brands we know like HPI <laughs> take the right for the stuff so we don't see the original parts here in Europe or America this is any it's actually the time still with the successor 8 because the Su-6 or 8 is like that baby there. <laughs> but we can have the successor 10, like a little shop in France, not like, because of a little shop in France, who um, take the lead and import that in France. And we're gonna talk about it, and I really wanna thank first, I'm gonna read this name exactly, so I tell nothing wrong, Mr. Kunshan Dong Liu Jun, because you do an amazing job. This is just when I see the truck, I already want it. I see that picture for a few months and I tell uh, my favorite shop here in France, oh, get one of that! <laughs> so you have done it. Finally, he's here. We have a TVP chassis, all the electronic is laying in there. Servo in the front, receiver box, ESC in one stamp. That's nice. No wire laying around. That's something I really, really like. Motor is underneath here. So the it's an LCG truck. Battery is to put ahead in the front here. It's rated for 2S because it's the 1 to 10 skill. It's will be enough. Weight is only 2.8 kilograms, 2.7, 2.8 with the battery in there. Um, and I think I haven't drive it any at this point, but I think this is something we're gonna see more. I hope to see coming more KDM stuff. I really appreciate the feeling from the plastics. We're gonna see what happens when we drive. I have maybe some little concern about the plastic drive shafts, but some brand like Arma show us that plastic drive shaft can hold on well. Not like the tracks and stuff. <laughs> and my all time favorite telescopical CVD are Losi, Super, Rock, and Baja Ray. I really hope to see more from that drive shaft coming up next times in our 1.6 scale trucks and down in the 1.8 skills. I hope that the new Arma 4S V2 have also that good quality of CVD. They have done this metal part uh, for the articulation and the rest from the stuff with plastics. So I feel good about that. I don't know here what's gonna happen. We're gonna see it. With the truck you get some sticker sheet window shield and front grill because the car comes a half of paint so you can do your own color you want you can get this body with blue yellow green uh, and orange stuff i believe and then you can put underneath the color you want so each track is personal I would prefer to get no color on the windows, but no matter, you have the stickers. If you want, you can get this body without paint job. In, on the aftermarket, it's not a problem. You gonna see, we go further to what's in the truck and on the truck, and you're gonna recognize uh, many stuff. There is some Arma-like stuff, some Traxxas-like stuff, some HPI-like uh, stuff, and Remember, anytime, I tell you that many, many, many times, if you think something is a copy, 
first go and grab out if it's not the original <laughs> because this is the car this is here the case from that car in the truck you get Hobbywing Electronic Max 10 SCT with the full programming stuff and you can go to 7.4 volt back the brake is rated at 75% go down this is way too much I just make a, a test in the air this is way too brutal for the brake go down to 50 and then it's gonna be all right for the rest from the setting it's on each of you to find what is good uh, go also up with the cutoff it's 3.2 for the lipo go to 3.4 volts uh, each cell maybe you're gonna lose some three four minutes runtime but batteries are not cheap and if they last the twice longer because you just stop three to four minutes before it's too late you have saved money you get with the car and turbo racing um, transmitter and receiver this is a brand I already discovered for two years uh, with a little small cheap radio system for kids it's the same thing but just super small just two battery here in there in the handle uh, all the, the the stuff is smaller they also do this size with uh, no LCD screen but already on all both from that radio system you can change the endpoint adjustment and that is nice and you already have three or four channel this one is with a, t uh, a screen it's a digital screen no touch screen and you have already four channel uh, on off for the third channel that means one or second gear if you have a crawler and a two-stage four channel for a diff lock maybe or something that means you can use this on a crawler or everything else if you want here to have a horn and uh, something else here is like you want the radio system also feel way better in the hand than the two other I tested it's really nice it's plastic but I don't know how to tell you it's impossible to see at the camera that this plastic is really nice in the hand it's also not too big so even if you have small hands it's okay if you have big hands you anytime can put here a form on there if you need you can set up many cars here 10 or 20 you have selection for reverse throttle and for all the channel reverse the endpoint adjustment for steering for throttle for third for fourth channel abs on the throttle exponential and this is something i never see before expansion on the steering okay then you think okay on throttle yeah but sorry i go too far come back you have exponential forward and separate backward that means you can change your brake rate not the maximum brake but the way it breaks because how i tell before it's too brutal here you can go so smoother and softer and backwards and you also have an led light when you do something here that's funny if you hit throttle or brake you have led lights <laughs> so and then for sure you have your trim but you also have a fast access to your steering and throttle trim here you can trim maybe we're gonna see it if he they have put in there the trim for channel 3 and 4 sorry steering throttle channel 3 channel 4 and you can give a name to the truck also with the truck you get also two servo horns if you have to change the servo or put a faster or tougher servo in there i believe it's a nine to ten kilogram the way you act i find nothing in the manual or on the box 
and I haven't uh, now disassembled the truck to see what servo we have in there but you have a servo horn here with uh, 23 or uh, 24 that means here we have 25 maybe we have a servo server directly at the servo or the servo but you have still a 1.8 like steering with an Ackerman plate Manual is absolutely complete. You have directly, if you open, when you open, direct in the mechanical stuff. That's something I like. Uh, know how to use the car, the warnings, all the stuff for the <laughs> little babies. <laughs> directly in demand stuff. Differential with two satellites. It's enough on one ten scale if they are beefy enough. You will recognize the Traxxas style differentials with here the rubber ceiling. I love this because you don't can squeeze the ceiling because the main gear sit on the housing. That's nice. The planetary gear is fixed with an earring. Center diff is small and compact and you get directly a plastic spool gear on it, maybe in 0.8 or 32 pitch. We're gonna see that when you when we open the car. We have in there a 60 can motor, sender servo, I would say max 10 SCT. They all it's funny, they give you the dimension, the maximum dimension from your electronic stuff you can put in the truck. What's important is that the LiPo battery, because the way it's mounted in there, if the battery is too bright, you cannot put in there. And if you make any change, um, maybe you will uh, hit with the battery the center drive shaft. So take care what you do here. I find it cool that they rate it in 2S, so people are gonna drive normally with them. It's clear, you can put 3S in there, but if you put 3S, maybe you're going to destroy something. And if you destroy something, you can only hit yourself. Because it's clearly on the box here. 2S LiPo cell. So if you drive 3, I'm going to drive 3 for sure. But I'm not going to cry when something breaks or be destroyed. You also will recognize a little bit of Traxxas style stuff here, but... We have reinforcement of our knees here. That's nice. Here we have something like Hobby Tech has in the Rock Terra. A arms are also reinforced, like we have on one eight skills. It's a TVP chassis, but the way it mounted, it's remember me also the Arma Nero, the real Nero, the big rock ones. And uh, what, what's the name from the. It was Nero. Nero 6S BLX or the big rock. I'm gonna show you after that when we are in the truck. 12 mm wheel hacks. Standard size 110 skill bearing, 5A11 per 4. I would say the plastic CVDs, plastic shocks, who remind me Lozy plastic shocks. Lozy and Team Esso style plastic shocks. They're also a concern because you have no bump stop underneath that when you over roll, you will rip the cap off. So I open one shock and discover with joy that this thread here is made really big the plastic is beefy. I had to use this is the first time ever I use some tools to open the plastic shocks. Usually I just take it in my hands and open my shocks. And there I had to use a tool because it was too tight. And I retighten it that way and not ever jump the thread. That means this plastic is good because I have here a little bit of power. <laughs> I'm not such a, I'm not an office man, I'm a mechanic. So here you have the TVP. And here this is the battery system. 
mount here you have just a half case and underneath there you have a full case to put just your 2S hard case LiPo in. So maybe you're gonna fit a 3S soft case, but I repeat it again, take care. You have your 4000 kV motor. This truck gonna easy run 65 km an hour. It's also something I like. Look at this box. It's not an American style box. You don't need to have here a mongoose power for top speed and too much from publicity, from heavy stuff and heavy bashing. It's just a box with an RC car. And then it's on you to do the rest. I think it's right this way. If I gonna put a 3S in there, I gonna put a 3000 kV motor, so I gonna go down with the kV because it's 2.8 kg heavy to 7 to 8. Uh, so 3S with low kV will be nice for 20-25 uh, minute run times. If you use here 5000 milliamp in 2S, maybe you're gonna reach a 4 hour. Uh, they rate you to use a 3500 milliamp battery. Why? Just easy. This is an easy way to drive 10 minutes. Uh, 3000 milliamp battery is lightweight, costs not much, and after 10 minutes, nothing is too hot in the car. That's another way to not overheat your car, is to stop in time. So I like that idea, even if I like to drive longer with my RC, I like to put one battery in and go to 20 uh, minutes, a half hour, but they are fully right. Especially in summer, we're gonna overheat. If you, if you drive too long, we're gonna overheat the battery, the motor. So why not just use smaller battery and stop after 10 minutes, let the car cool down, put another battery in and go again. Here is also something, remind you, the Trex style mount. We have good quality from plastics at the ball ends. We have hard steel here at the concentrate stuff. This is also make beefy. Maybe the spindle here, front and rear, look a little bit small, but they are flex. I'm gonna show you after that. I just wanna go through the manual fast. And that's all. So, main stuff for this assembler truck is easy. You have a, a few screw around to put the front away, a few screw around to put the rear part away, so you have easy access to your mechanic for overhaul the truck and maintenance. Don't forget to re-oil the ball bearing, especially if you was through wet wheeler. And now it's time to put all this away and go to the stuff we want to see. I'm going to show you the track from near. First of all, they have nice body pin, not some super small and soft stuff. This is really like the HPI pins. I love by HPI the body pins. They are tough. Twos are two. This car for sure looks like an infraction with the body style and also the paint job style. They do that because many people like it. So why not do it? I think it's cool. Even if I want to see something over, I'm happy with that. For the color underneath, I don't gonna use white because it's too common. Um, I love blue and orange, so maybe I'm gonna go for orange. It's something I like since I'm a kid. Blue and orange go, fits well together. So I gotta maybe do that. And also because I have already an orange can uh, laying around. <laughs> the Lexan is from good quality. We have a little bit more than a millimeter Lexan. It's not a one, uh, it's not a two millimeter, maybe one and a half. That's nice. Like at many brands and stuff, I miss a handlebar, who's also a roll bar, but easy to do in this type of chassis. All you need is a plastic part, heat it, 
bend it and bolt it here. You can put the hole more here. You can use a screw with contour screw. You can thread here. I'm gonna make two four millimeter threads here, two four millimeter threads here, and I gotta just use a plastic part to make a handle and roll bar to provide to squeeze the body when I over roll. So I'm not gonna break here. That's anytime here on pickup trucks that you break, they have reinforced it here. That's nice, but. I still want to protect it more. The bumper are not too big to have nice angle to catch up the truck when you land not just at the right point. In the rear from the truck it's the same. Here I have to say I prefer the to have a complete bumper here to protect that because I know here I'm gonna rip off the back of my truck it's always gonna happen unless you drive gently but I'm not a gently driver I'm a crazy driver but I not drive specially for destroy so body is nice radio system is nice manual is nice box is nice it's beginning really good we have fat offset tire that's something i like the most on my trucks i don't like zero offset especially not all the competition stuff was just that way i don't like that that's so boring i really like some wheels with style and i like to have offsets so i'm happy to see that here that's a 2.8 stadium truck uh, like the old HPI, I already has here some old HPI wheels who looks really nice and maybe I'm gonna use it um, on the truck because these are just black. I have chrome wheels back there with 8 or 10 holes. Um, they are not, uh, it's not HPI I have, it's maybe G-Concept or Proline Revolver. Um, old school style rims I have and on the other side for my workshop maybe i'm gonna use that i especially like that this remind me tamiya sand scorcher subaru brat old school style tires you remember the small tamiya tires i love that the rubber feels really nice and tough this tire because i have already tried in 2s balloons a little bit but not too much and seems to be also right glued Suspension, I would say plastic shocks, but good plastics. Out from the box, you have no pretension, it's a little bit too soft, so I go one point higher here with my suspension and put a little bit more pretension on it. And this way, the battery is in the car. It's really nice. We, we are really soft here when you heat throttle to take the little bumps. And if you brake, we go down. And if you jump, it's harder underneath. That's something I like. At the rear you have more suspension travel and it's really super soft and smooth. I like that. That's really the way I set up my suspension when I go drive. Look at this. It lands really nice. Everywhere counter strong on it. I would say with it seems like to be hard steel. We're gonna see what happened by driving. Here you have hinge pins catch with little screws. Here you have some axles with Eclipse. That's something I'm not specially like, but I don't like it. Why? Just because sometimes when you heat, this little Eclipse flies away and you lose your axles. So I really prefer a screw, but we're gonna let it to see what happens. And the other stuff is I prefer to have a fuse part here if I heat hard to see my Eclipse flying away and not break my hub. So we're gonna see what happens. We have here the reinforcement plate at the A-arm and look at how nice these A-arms are done. This looks really nice, all is round and smooth to fly over the gravel. The front bulkhead here is fully plastics bolted at the TVP. We have not a TVP who goes too far away in the front. 
that also allows you to maybe take some hard heat, absorb a little bit. Servo underneath here, some protection, so big stuff not gonna hurt your battery here or your motor. Take care, if you drive in heavy gravel, I really tell you to take care of your battery and to not see any type of gravel fall here at the main driveline between motor and driveline. You know what happens, we always see that and on all our truck, if it's armor, tracks is currently, if something is in there between motor and the rear uh, drive cup, you know what happens. In the beginning, as I unbox the car in French, I would like to have the same rear shocks and shock stay in front as in rear to have also that suspension travel in the rear. But the main reason, because many brands do shorter front shocks, is just easy. If these were the front Imagine this is the front from the car, this is the back. When I hit throttle with so much suspension travel, this helps the car go up and if it's go two way up here, you're gonna lift more easy. That's why they always do sh shorter shocks in front on stadium track, buggies, truggies. Monster track most of the time has four same shocks. So it's really compact. We have some reinforcement part here, front and rear. And I would say, like the radio system, the plastics really give you a good impression. That not meaning it's good, it's just a good feeling. Give you trust. And the only way to show if it's okay is to drive it. And this is what you're gonna do until I have done my paint job. But I have done the French unboxing video, the German video, now it's your turn, guys. After that, I'm gonna make my paint job and I'm gonna do the mechanical access video to the car. Because we never see that type of car here. I even never see a video from that car on YouTube, so I'm gonna make the videos for mechanical access. To avoid to do a French version, disassemble, reassemble, then a German version, disassemble, reassemble, then an English version, I may be gonna do like Charlie Chaplin, and this is gonna be a great joy for six shooter. <laughs> Maybe I have to use my ball gag he sent me <laughs> to not speak at that video, and then after that take the time on my PC to um make no the text gonna be long if i i am gonna do the text i also not want to speak after that on the video especially with a microphone and make one english version one french one um because um i don't like that i i like i do not like look so video way that may make that way so i don't do it Have I forgot something? You have three diffs, so no sleeper clutch. And how is what I speak before? Look at this motor wired here. ESC wired directly in receiver box, servo wired directly in receiver box. On off knob, nicely mounted direct also here. You have all together. This is a clean stuff. I have the feeling the weight is a little bit more in the rear. We have the motor here. The battery is at the, the behind half from the truck, also electronic, but if you lift it there, it's a little bit way more heavy in the rear, but not so much. So we're gonna see what happens on the field, if it's how it's balanced with the weight, if it's more weight in the front or in the rear. It's clearly more in the rear, but I mean, if it's too light from the front, we're gonna easily lose the front. That's something I do not like like at the Traxxas Max V1. I really prefer the V2. For comparison in size, 325 millimeters like the Arma Nero 3S. It's also a stadium truck like that. 
it's not a monster truck and I just really like how it looks for sure we already have here in Europe a lot of unbreakable body to put on it we have Pro Body uh, RC Maniacs Elsass RC that's from my country <laughs> these are my pals uh, we have a uh, TMT body and we have Basha bodies in the Netherlands and I don't know what you have in USA maybe not so much I know many from you don't like unbreakable body because it not looks so nice as the stock one I am agree with that but it's so cool with that body, if you go, you see, you're gonna hit something, just break and send the roof on the crash and nothing happens to the truck. But usually with Lexan body, if you, have, if you have a nice Lexan body, when you see you're going to crash, you anytime try to avoid to destroy the body. So you send the axle in the front or something and sometimes break something on the axle was way more costful to change as just squeeze the body in the tree so we have here only it's not negative points it's just what I'm not there are really stuff I like and stuff I like not so much I would prefer to get less KV 3000 and uh, can put a two or a three years in there I understand why they do that I'm sure we're gonna be happy with the performance from the truck I'm not a huge fan from this Eclipse stuff but if it's work is okay my major concern is really about this plastic CVD if the plastics are ruled, we not have gonna have any surprise, bad surprise. If it's not tough enough, because it's really the size from the first generation of Traxxas plastic CVD or second generation, not the first in the early 2000, but uh, the second one, and we will not be able maybe to put the new generation Traxxas shafts in there because we have no room for that. So I hope this is gonna hold on well. And this is all I have to tell about that brand. A nice surprise out from the box. I was happy to discover this brand KDM. Thanks again, how I say, Mr. Dong Lee Hun, for doing that. I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna drive it one time, two times, ten times, twenty times. We're gonna disassemble the truck. Like any time, I'm gonna try to not crash it and destroy it. Like any time, it's gonna happen. Um, because generally, the first runs, I can keep myself calm. And after that, uh, I'm just gonna have the throttle demon, <laughs> the trigger demon. <laughs> just, oh, you see that jump? Go nice. One time, two time, three time. Go a little bit harder. Full power! <laughs> Don't do that. Never jumps with go on a jump with the full power from the truck. Use the half, the three quarter maybe, and keep the rest for have some room in the air to catch the truck up. I'm excited to see what uh, KDM gonna do more. We already have a K uh, one eight skill truck, I would say, which you cannot have in America and Europe. I'm sad about that. I don't like this, just this. Uh, this kind of business stuff from several brands um, I hope to see a two-wheel drive I hope to see some other stuff yeah I already heard about some things but I don't gonna tell you <laughs> um, I don't care remember if you don't know where you have land here I don't do not care about brands I'm an RC freak, I love RC, any kind of RC, I just want to have the quality I need for my bucks. Here I have a good feeling, many stuff is okay. Um, 
I like to discover new stuff. This is whole new for me. Maybe they're gonna tell, uh, yeah, we have this since five or ten years. We're okay with that. Uh, I don't know. I discovered it now. I don't care about to be the first in the world to do a review. I know it's so important for many channels to be the first in the world. Uh, no matter. It's absolutely equal. That's why I do not competition. Many guys like to do competition, like to be the first, the strongest, the fastest. I never take care. I just want to have fun. I even don't care to be the last one. Uh, how much I the most important for me is just fun. As long as I have fun, I'm happy with what I do, even if I'm the slowest, even if it's the weakest, I don't care. Don't take this as a heavy basher. They make no publicity about that. That's the right stuff to do. I'm really bored for all that brand who try to be more basher than the bashers from the basher from the bashers. That's not what I like. Because even if that truck was made from one centimeter, this meant 10 millimeter steel plates with bike bearing, someone gonna be able to destroy it because you're gonna be you're gonna go too far. That's a strange game for me to try to send the truck anytime to destruction. The problem are not tools who make it and make the videos on YouTube. The problem are anytime all tools who like that videos. <laughs> Especially if they have not the money to do it and try to do it and destroy their car and begin to yell and cry my truck is destroyed if you have no much money take one car take care about it drive gently do the maintenance disassemble the truck after water after mud and not go to his maximum power that's just an easy stuff to do with your RC cars I especially like a video uh, which a, a main hobby has done on the seven thing to stop to do with your RC because they are in the right path. If you have the money, if you are crazy, you want to destroy it, do it. Just not cry about it. Bye guys.